Hello everybody, it's Miss Matthias. I'm coming at you live from my very glamorous bedroom, which is my new home office. How exciting. Um, I will be on Edsby every day. I will be posting math and literacy activities for all of the students. And I'm here to answer any questions that anybody might have. Um, um, I would also like to share some really exciting news with you. I just have this little clipboard here. If you see me looking at something, that's what I'm looking at. Um, everybody gets Alexia account. Yay! We're all so excited about that because the students have been asking about Lexia all year. So this is fantastic news. Um, it's very easy to use. The only thing about it is that you cannot use it on a phone. You have to have a tablet or a Chromebook or a laptop or something like that. Um, or you, you can go directly to the website or you can download an app. Um, all you need is your student number. The password is Lexia. And I'm asking the students to do about 20 minutes a day. And I can track all that um, information, their progress from my, uh, my own account. That's great. Um, and in order to access it the first time, you have to put in an email address. I'll put that information in a separate post to make it a little bit, you know, so you can you can see what the email address is, you can copy it. Um, so that's exciting news. I really would like to see the students going on um, Lexia every day and reading books on Epic every day because that's what we would be doing in our classroom. We read every morning for 20 minutes. Um, and so, in addition to that, I posted today our first measurement activity. And what I would like to explain is that I'm going to be posting the literacy activities under the, I believe it's called the language um, section of the Edsby website. And the math will go on the math section. And I'm hoping that people, um, students can respond to my posts on um, in that section. If you're not comfortable having um, responding there where everybody can read your comment or, or um, see what you've posted. You can also message me directly. That would be fine. Um, but I'm hoping to see that, kind of see what the students are doing at home um, when I post like a measurement challenge or a measurement activity, even if it's just a sentence that says, I measured this, it was this long, something like that. Um, we're all learning together, so we'll, we'll learn as we go the best way that this is going to work. Um, so I, I posted a measurement activity today and I noticed that some people have already, have already completed it, which is great. And I, one more thing I wanted to say about that is that, uh, in order for the students to post their work or post, um, a, a response to any of the activities, they have to log in with their student number. And I believe the password would be the, um, their first initial, their not last initial and the last three numbers of their student number. I'll post this as well in a separate message to make it more clear. Um, if parents log in, they'll be able to see what I post, but they won't be able to respond to anything. Um, but they'll still be able to send me, I think, a, a private message. So you could always message me what your, your child has done. You are welcome to post photos of your, what your child's doing. You don't have to. You can just type in a sentence or two. You can take a photo of, of work that they've done. You don't have to do that either. Whatever works for you. Everybody is working with different technology and different devices, so it makes it a little bit challenging. Okay, I think that's enough for me for now. I hope this video works, and I hope everybody is doing great. And I will be on all day, um, every day, if you need anything, if you have any questions. Thank you.